Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we come to you this hour for the utmost important message from the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, from our God, our Father, who art in heaven. The other night he came to me whilst I was awake in my bed about to sleep. And the Lord Yeshua, through the Holy Spirit, came and sat next to my bed and showed me the holes in his hands from the nails that pierced his hands whilst he was crucified upon the cross, upon the tree of Calvary. And he had some terrible things to tell me, and to show me, and to warn everyone, especially for those living on the west coast of the United States of America. The message was that he said to me, come with me and I'm going to show you something. He took me into the outer space, outside of our first heaven, which is our atmosphere of the earth, and I saw the whole round of the earth. And then he said, look down, sun, and I looked down and as I looked down at the earth, the earth came closer, or I came closer to the earth, and I saw the United States of America, and I saw the west coast of the United States of America, and we got even closer, and we got closer to a huge city, I believe it was LA, and all of a sudden I saw a huge big tidal wave come sweeping in and swept across the whole entire city and it was absolutely devastating what I saw it totally destroyed the city and beyond right along the whole close coastline it wasn't just that city either and there was plumes of smoke billowing out of the whole entire city and all around it and then after that I saw huge bombs going off and it looked to be like atomic bombs and then next minute I was back in my back in my bed in my room and he said to me this very simple message his words were repent for look up for your redemption is nigh and those were his exact words. And so with that, I prayed and sought the Lord again for further confirmation to make sure that it was him and not uh, a familiar spirit. And uh, that night I prayed uh, before I went to sleep. And the next morning, my flatmate received a dream and she received a dream about an earthquake that hit Christchurch, which is a city here. Funny enough, it's called Christchurch. And it killed many people. A lot of people were killed in this earthquake. And this, she came and told me about the dream the next morning. And I received the confirmation through that dream and I gave the interpretation of the dream. And of course it was uh, confirmation about what the Lord had shown me the night before. So with that, I have a scripture which the Lord has given me to tell you with in regards to this. It is Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12, King James Version. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed, about with so great cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight, and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, Yeshua, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross,
despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest you be wearied and faint in your minds. You have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receives. If you endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, there of all are partakers, then are ye bastards, and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits, and live? For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men, and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fall of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and therefore many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person, as Esau, or who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward he would have inherited the blessing. He was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burned with fire, nor unto blackness, and darkness, and tempest, and the sound of the trumpet, and the voice of words, which voice they that heard entreated that the word should not be spoken to them any more. For they could not endure that which was commanded, and if so much as a beast touch the mountain, it shall be stoned, or thrust through with a dart. And so terrible was the sight, that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. But ye are come unto Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh better things than that of Abel. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh. For if they escaped not who refused him that spake on earth, 
for more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. Whose voice then shook the earth? But now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word, yet once more, signifieth the removing of those things that are shaken, as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with the reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Now I've cried and wept many a times over the last 20 years. This is my first video that I have been asked to make after studying with the Lord at his feet for 20 years at the third heaven in the temple of God in the third heaven. For 20 years I have been faithfully serving the Lord and learning from the Lord at his feet. I come to you in the spirit of Elijah that God has given to me. And that's another video that I'll make when the Lord has me do so. But I would like to also say, but this will also affect the whole entire world. There will be World War Three, which has already begun. The Gog Magog Ezekiel 38 39 war has already begun. And I must say that there is a lot of other things I need to say. But I will make individual videos as this is the first one that the Lord has commanded me to do. And there will be many, many, many more to follow. Signing out, your brother in Christ. God bless.